What's up guys? So right now we're actually doing the part two of the build. We're actually gonna be putting in the transmission today. Um, I can't do really much else because again, time constraints, but it's time for a transmission. After a tough battle, we get the car in there. I don't even feel like speaking right now, to be honest. It has no air pressure in the rear tires. So imagine that. Look around. <sighs> Why? Today's video is sponsored by nobody because I just started. Freaking day, dude. I'm gonna figure this out, okay? So first off, thanks for watching. But hey, we're here for a good time, right? So I'm just gonna explain to you what I wanna do, essentially in terms of like branding and stuff like that. So my idea behind TYL, Thank Yourself Later, is just about working hard and thanking yourself later, right? That's what we're all about. We'll get these projects done now, and then when the car is done, it's sick and we can thank ourselves, right? So that's why you work hard and thank yourself very clean. Remember that, sorry for the stutter. All right, we got the car in the air. About to put the transmission in, because honestly, it's an easy job. All you really have to do is lift it on, put it on the spline, like the splines, push it on. It's got a couple bolts around the bell housing, and you're done. Very simple. Hopefully you can crank it out before it gets too dark. Here we go. Put the car under the trans. Put the trans under the car, oh, hold on. Wait a second, that's not what I meant. All right, so you just manhandled. The trans up in there. So, making pretty quick work, honestly. I'm not doing most of the work, to be honest. He's a freaking a G, I appreciate him so much. This part's for if you are going to look at my Instagram story in the next 24 hours on August 2nd. There you go. All right, so the trans is almost in. We're just missing, not really missing, but just need to put a couple more bolts in and we should be done. Then we can move on to the drive shaft. What are you looking at me for? Yeah, right. drive shaft is on next. And after that, I think we're done for the night. Again, everything else is gonna be top side. That's really the only thing that's missing. It does, it is missing an exhaust, but that's up to my guy to do. But for now, almost done. All right, as you can tell, it's dark because you can barely see my face. <laughs> we're all done for today. I'm gonna pick back up tomorrow because trans is in right now. All I have to do is the drive shaft and the support for the transmission and it should be good on that end. Depending on how the day goes tomorrow, I might be able to finish the rest of the engine, but let's see. I still have to charge that battery and hopefully it has a good charge. He just dropped it off and he said it was in his old car, so we'll see how that goes, but I'll see you tomorrow. All right, what's up guys? So this is day two. I'm gonna start working on that guy, but that's some side work to do. So these are resistors that I'm putting on his car. Oh, and by the way, this guy's name is Iggy. He's like 6'4 and weighs 150 pounds or 160 pounds. And this thing is a 19 Mark 7.5 Golf R pushing about 420 horsepower. So this thing scoots. But as you can see, he has some KW suspension on there. He just put on, but I didn't have time to put the resistors on. So I went ahead and did that for him. All right, as you can tell, I am super sweaty. I'm drenched just because I just finished working on his car and I still haven't even started on this one. But I've got to do an oil change on it first. That's why you see that tub there. Got to take that to advanced auto parts. This AC feels way too good. And I don't feel like going back out there. But I've got to. All right, I'm out. While I'm here, let's go ahead and start the oil change. Just take this top off. Ooh, my boy. It looks like you're going to need a new cap. I'm curious just to see what that oil looks like. Goodness gracious. God. I dented the hell out of this thing. Sorry, BMW plate. And we're back at it. I was sure that one of us was going to get hurt, and it was definitely not going to be me. You sacrificed your life for the greater good of this channel. I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure how good this oil is going to look like. Okay. Mm. I mean, that oil was in there for a minute, like, like a while. He was getting this thing torn apart again to put that LS in there, so who knows how long it was sitting. We're gonna go through everything, make sure it's, it's proper to turn on and start driving. All right, now that I'm letting the oil drip there, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off the drive shaft so I can mount the new side of it, because this last owner, I don't know why they did this. Let me show you this real quick. Hmm. There's a cut end of the drive shaft, which again, to me, it's like, why would you do that? 
like you're right here just unbolt that side unbolt the carrier with the uh, bear in the middle unbolt the back and you're done it's just uh, some people All right, so next, I just need to go ahead and put the other side of the drive stuff on. I'll bring it over here. Here it is. This is the one that goes over to the front side where it connects to the transmission. This has a three prong there, or three holes. So it's in really good shape. Uh, again, I just need to put it on here because, again, he cut it off. Why would you do that? Bring it out, babe, by then. And she's off. I got it off. I threw that other side in the trash can, but it's time to put This side, this side. You like it. I just have to clean the side up though. Now I can put this side. Put that on. Grab the birthday here. Alright, so I got the drive shaft all put together. Now I just need to mount it up at the center point then put that onto the transmission. And at that point, she's basically done with the drive shaft. Now, can you guys believe it? I got my first sponsor. His name is Iggy. He gave me all these little bolts here and it matches up with what the trans, what the drive shaft needs. So, got free parts. I'm getting somewhere. All right. So right now, I'm actually taking off the, <gasps> almost hit the camera. But this was uh, the pusher for the transmission, so I think it's supposed to be a little thicker than that. I've got another one of these. We're gonna put that on, as well as the transmission mount. We're almost there. All right, so most of this episode, I'm on the ground because I can't afford a lift yet, um, but we'll get there, right? But look at this, isn't this nuts? Where's it at? So per the Iggy donation, this bolt fits perfectly, perfectly in here. And we didn't, we had no idea. He was literally like, hey, I got a bunch of bolts. I don't need it. You want it? And I was like, that looks about right. And it worked. Boop. Per like the nature of this job, essentially of this build, I'm just using a bunch of parts that I have in the garage already. We purchased some newer parts, but Right, I don't have unlimited funds yet. So for now, we're just using old stuff. And luckily, I have a lot of it. I'm making sure it's not just crappy old stuff, it's actually good. So like bolts that actually have teeth, that kind of stuff. So like this, this is a good bolt to use. It's got good teeth, it just needs to be clean. But this is not, can you see it? Not a good nut. In reality, I only need three to finish the pairing, just because it's going back on the transmission, or the drive shaft, technically the transmission. And we're good. All right, so I've already finished putting on the drain plug, and then here is the oil filter that's gone in. I went ahead and put about half a quart in there, just so, it, you know, it hasn't had a ton of oil in there in a super long time. So just making sure that it gets, you know, properly lubricated, especially when it starts up. But this engine requires exactly six quarts of oil. So here I've got, look Molly, um, and I've already put about, this thing is about 5.28 quarts. The other one was 1.6. So I'm just gonna leave like about, you know, 0.3 of a quart. All right guys, so major progress today. We went ahead and put the drive shaft in, did an oil change, finished up the transmission with the whole, like putting in the transmission, as well as the brace bar that goes for the transmission. So huge leap ahead. So I was down there and I noticed that the fuel lines weren't in there. So I have to get new fuel lines to put on there. Now they're figured out and make sure the clutch work. Since the clutch was off, obviously the transmission was out. So that's another battle on its own. Let's hope that there's brake fluid in there. So on the next video, we'll be working on that and just making sure that we've got everything we need here to get this car running. We're almost there. And lastly, since this is the end of the video, I wanna say thank you for everyone watching. I really appreciate you guys. 
please comment, like, subscribe at the bottom. I really want to keep this thing going. As far as the channel, there's a lot that I'd like to accomplish. Just, you know, doing giveaways, building cool cars, having meets, just creating a good vibe, you know, just working hard. And one thing I always say is work hard so you can thank yourself later. So remember, thanks for letter. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. See you in the next one.